Planning to visit Vancouver? This beautiful city has a lot to offer. Here are the 10 places in no particular order that you must visit during your next trip to this beautiful city. Let's get started. Let's begin with a visit to Stanley Park, one of the largest and most impressive urban parks in the world. Stanley Park covers 1,000 acres of forest with panoramic views of the ocean and the famous Lions Gate Bridge, which connects downtown to North Vancouver over the Burrard Inlet. Other attractions here include the Vancouver Aquarium, which is home to various species like dolphins, sharks, octopi, and even whales. At number 9, check out the famous Hotel Vancouver. This impressive hotel is one of British Columbia's most famous landmarks, and it's also popular among celebrities that visit the city. But don't mistake it for the other two smaller versions that share the same name. It's hard to miss the multi-million dollar 17-story building as you enter the city, and at 111 meters, you can see it from any spot in the city. At number 8, we suggest you head down to Robson Street for some quality shopping, where many regard it as a shopper's mecca. You'll find an array of world-class designer shops and local boutiques. And many visitors come here just to people watch. There's no shortage of food here either, with a variety of cuisines from international flavors to fresh local seafood. And number seven is Gastown. Another great place to visit in Vancouver for great shopping, places to eat, or just to hang out. It also has a buzzing nightlife scene. This upbeat historical village is now home to many art galleries and film schools. It's where the city began its early years and got its name from the British sea captain, Gassy Jack Dayton, who opened the area's first saloon back in 1867. Today, many tourists enjoy strolling along its cobble streets while admiring the pretty Victorian buildings. If you need a souvenir to take home, this is the place to get it. Next, head over to Chinatown for some Asian flavor and get a real taste of the Orient from one of the largest of its kind in North America. One of the main attractions here is the famous Dr. Sun Yat-sen Chinese Classical Gardens and Park. It is the first full-scale Chinese gardens to be built outside of China in the $5 million gardens, offers peace and tranquility, combining many beautiful exotic plants with classical Chinese architecture. Entrance to the park is free, but there is an admission for the gardens. At number five, soak up some local culture at the Vancouver version of the Sydney Opera House. This is the Canada Palace. Here you can stroll around the promenade and enjoy some Canadian music and various entertainment all year round. Home to Western Canada's largest convocation facility, you can find an array of shops and various attractions such as an IMAX theater which shows a variety of 3D movies as well as documentaries all day long. During tourist season you may even be able to spot cruise ships returning or departing for Alaska. At number four, we suggest a visit to Granville Island. Once a rundown industrial area inhabited by numerous factories and sawmills, this small peninsula located in False Creek opposite downtown Vancouver is now bustling with various shops and galleries, as well as a water park, a brewery, and even a large public market that offers various products like local produce and unique handmade arts and crafts. In third place, climb to the top of the Harbor Center, one of the tallest buildings in Vancouver, and enjoy some of the best views of the city. This 482 feet tall building is visible from just about any part of the city, and it's been here since 1977. With a revolving restaurant and an observation deck, it's obvious why this is one of the more popular destinations for tourists. 
you can climb to the top via a glass elevator. And number two, check out Veneer Park for three of Vancouver's major museums. The H.R. McMillan Space Center with the state-of-the-art planetarium, the Vancouver Museum, and the Maritime Museum. All three are within walking distance to one another. At the park, you can enjoy excellent views of the English Bay, False Creek, and downtown Vancouver. Stretch your legs and enjoy Vancouver's Seaside Bicycle Route, which runs through the park and all around the waterfront, making it highly popular amongst joggers, rollerbladers, dog walkers, cyclists, and casual strollers. Finally, in pole position, a visit to Vancouver wouldn't be complete without a trip to the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Located in the Capilano Canyon Regional Park in North Vancouver. This well-known bridge draws around a million visitors each year and was built in 1889 by native Indians and a foreign pioneer. At the hatchery you can see local salmon and if you time your visit just right, you might be lucky enough to see them swim upstream to lay their eggs. Stretching 140 meters and 230 feet above the river, the bridge is part of a private facility and so charges an admission fee. 